Quebecers in the St. Henry's St. Anne riding in Montreal Sud-West are heading to the polls on March 13th for a by-election after the seat was left empty when former Liberal leader Dominique Anglade stepped down last December. Joining me now is political analyst Karim Boulos. Thank you so much for joining us, Karim. Thank you. What are the needs of this riding, you would say, and what can we expect with this race? It's going to sound hokey, but what they need is some TLC. The riding has been abandoned in sorts. Uh, they at one time had the leader who was hoping to be premier. Now they have nobody. And anybody who knows we have the leader, that means the leader is going to be touring the province and not necessarily spending too much time in, in the riding as, as a general as a general rule during the campaign. So it's been a while since the people of uh, Saint-Henri, Saint-Anne have had someone really look out for their needs. So I think they're, they're feeling a little bit left beside. I think the, the candidate from Quebec Solidaire has been working very hard, Mr. Clich Rivard, to be top of mind in you know, people's uh, intentions. And I think it's going to be a, an interesting race with, with him clearly as, as the current front runner. On October 3rd, the Liberals captured a little over 36% of the vote. Quebec Solidaire was not far behind with more than 27%. And of course, the CAQ at 17%. What do you think the margins will look like this time around? I think the, the lead that the Liberals had is because of Madame Anglade's notoriety and specifically her leadership. As the leader of the party, you want to make sure someone from your area has a certain voice to speak on your behalf. I think this time around, uh, Mr. Benninger is running a very good campaign. The Liberal Party under Mr. Tange has been very present in the writing, trying to go door to door every chance they can. But I think at this point, it's going to be a lot thinner margins. And I think the front runner, given that it's the same Mr. Klish Rivard, who ran in the last election, who did quite well considering he was up against the leader of the Liberal Party, uh, I think he would be the front runner by a solid five or 10 points. What will get constituents motivated to vote again so soon after a recent election? That's everybody's challenge. I think that's going to be a challenge. And voter apathy is always a problem. Last time around, it was in the 40-ish percentage points. And I think this time around, it's likely to be a little bit lower. So it really comes down to individual candidates getting their vote out, saying that I need your support and I need you to go out and vote, as opposed to expecting people to do their civic duty of just showing up and voting in for a, a vacant seat. So I think this time around, it's going to come down to each individual party and each candidate specifically targeting people and knocking on the doors right up until the morning of to get people to get out to vote. But again, I don't expect the turnout to be much more than the same 40% range. Thank you so much for joining us, Kareem. It's my pleasure.